I'm Kyle Smith, film critic for the New York Post. Arnold Schwarzenegger's busy these days, too busy to star in another Terminator movie, the fourth Terminator. Terminator Salvation is in theaters this week. Christian Bale stars as John Connor, the leader of the rebel resistance, fighting the armies of Terminator machines that have taken over the world after Skynet, uh, which is sort of their parent company, has blown up the world. post-apocalyptic scenario in 2018. Uh, he is joined by uh, Kyle Reese, who's another resistance fighter, who is, of course, his own father, who will eventually, later on in the series, go back in time to the very first movie and become John Connor's father by hooking up with Sarah Connor, the star of the first Terminator movie. Uh, anyway, uh, Kyle Reese is now a teenage boy, and he's running around where he encounters a mysterious figure called Marcus, now, Marcus is a former condemned prisoner who gave up his body to science uh, years ago and has uh, mysteriously reemerged. Enough! That gun ain't gonna stop. Nobody shot you in the heart, and I see that thing beating a mile a minute. Kyle Reese! He's in Skynet. You do that, he's dead. These three rebel, uh, rebel fighters are up against the machines, and there's a, a lot of great car chase action, a lot of great shootouts. A lot of great sort of clanking and rusting metal under stress. The first half works better. The first half is really more about the, the car chases and shootouts. The second half, I think, is somewhat of a letdown. The characters really uh, are, are not very compelling. The dialogue is flat. The story is kind of, well, you've seen it all before. It's not really that original. It's not really that interesting. To me, this movie has all the heart of a demolition derby. Not at all a bad action movie, worth your time, but not one of the stronger entries in the series, I'd say. I'm Kyle Smith, film critic for the New York Post. We gotta get to the transport! <laughs>